Which one? Uh, right here. <laughs> Way more sandy than it's been. Uh, we need, need to come back a bit, or uh, I don't know how much left we have in the swing. Let's move up. We'll have to go somewhere else. Yeah, do you want okay. to a different site? Yeah, there's a ledge, actually. You can see Ooh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. Wow. Line, line, so. We'll just come up to the top of this ridge, and then we'll see yep. what we can no do. No worries. It almost looks like it overhangs a little. Oh, this is cool. Cute. Yeah, it's like a wall. Yeah, a little, yeah. It's a cool Atalanta shot. It's not that high, though. 10 meters or so. Yeah. A wall with nothing big growing on it. A whole lot of nothing. What's this thing, this kind of diamond-shaped thing to the left of that yeah, crack? Yeah, I see that. Is so that just a weird just a rock weird formation? Fracture. Cool. Uh, it is really weird. <laughs> I don't know. Another one of the sponge, the thermo sponge. Oh, really? The kebab. James, are you feeling any current down there, or do you usually feel current? Um, I don't think the current's too bad right now, to be honest with you. Um, I can notice very easily when there's current. Because of the pressure um, the, the, on the Herc? The vehicle just tends to go in one direction all the time. Ah, well, that would make sense. Um, to uh, a good a good telltale sign is if you look in the Atalanta cam, that first float, you see it's like right behind the vehicle, nice and kind of lazy. When there's current, it's tight. Mm. Another black coral. Oh yeah. Probably heteropathis as well. Heteropathis. Can we zoom in? Yes, please. So this one seems to have cool. like fleshier polyps than some of the other black corals that we've encountered. Does that seem like a yeah, good you're assessment? Yeah, right. It does have fleshier. Yeah, some species polyps. of. Um, Are they fused? Um, no. The, some will be more close. Yeah. Um, the polyps will be closer, and the tentacles bigger. Yeah. Um, some batch patches you're going to have very very big polyps as well. Um, it's so beautiful. You can, it's quite, di it can be quite diverse. Wow. And those are long, like, hmm. is there something at the, the uh, centimeters where the, branch, where the brown branches come out? There's something kind of pink at that little. Zoom in, Paul, as much as you can. You have I think a that concentration sometimes of yeah, yeah. Just so part, of the part of its natural anatomy. Here, I thought I caught an associate. Mm -hmm. Everyone else always has their eyes on the associates. <laughs> We zoom out, please. Well, sometimes could be as well. Thank you so much for, for the zoom. No problem. Well, it's too bad about the rocks. I feel like there was rocks there because we're at the bottom of that yeah. cliff. We have plenty of rocks. None from here, though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You guys don't seem that worried, so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. They were really quite quite flat, which didn't seem promising. The like third one might have been a keeper, but you can't you win them all. It was a weird spot. We have a question in the chat that there seems to be a dark sh spot or shadow on the top center of the camera. Are you all seeing that? 
That's yep, just that's of because of how high the, up. That's because the camera's looking way up, because yeah. we're going really far up slope. Yep, that makes sense. Typically, I'd like to keep it in the center of the light, um, but I also have to see where we're going. Yeah, that's so. important. Are we ready for a ship move? Uh, so you're, we're yes, let's do that. quite a ready bridge now. You reach a most... Yeah, we've passed two waypoints already. 240, please. Thank oh, you. could this be some more of those hydroids or oh. still in a different bamboo? Oh, it's just the lighting on the wall. I thought it was something down below that looked uh, like a chain. It's a crinoid. Crinoid and then some sort of, I think, a bamboo stalk. Uh, no, no it's so fleshy. Could we zoom uh, up? At the other one? Yep. Yep. Just leave it there, Panos. Is that bamboo? bamboo? Yeah, it is, is a bamboo. bamboo. For some reason, th th for a moment, I looks. I I had the impression I was seeing the the plates, but. Uh, uh huh. All the polyps on one side. Really big, fleshy polyps. Yeah. Mm. Long tentacles. That one would be really mucusy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, can we come wide, please? Another rat tail, or I think. So we baby one. Point to this. Okay. Oh, what's that? Oh. Ooh. Run. Zoom in. It looks almost like. Well, I don't want to guess yet. <laughs> Could we zoom any closer on that? Yep. I can get closer too. Yeah, that'd be great. It looks like a chrysogorgid. You turn down the iris. But like a it's, not a it's the coloration of Ramelogorgia, but it's like branched in a weirder way. I don't know. It's like not. It's not particularly bluey. It's a very white, and and it has that like dichotomous branch at the bottom, like a primnoid would. But it's not a primnoid. It's a chrysogorgid, I think. Really interesting. That's cool. Can we zoom out. Thanks for the zoom. Oh, beautiful. I do not know. I don't know. Ramla Gorgia of some kind is best guess. Yeah, yeah, it's probably Ramla Gorgia Militaris. That's the biggest, loneliest colony of it I've ever seen, though. And what? another bamboo. Zoom in. Yep. This one's maybe the same. 
What's that Bathic Gorgia look like? We can move on. Oh, beautiful. Zoom it out. We have a question in the chat about the lasers, and yes, they Ten are. Ten meters apart. For Ten <laughs> meters. I think Ten it might be centimeters apart. apart. <laughs> it's to measure what we are looking at. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> they were that was fast. A lot of those as in the past. Um, we also have another question about how the ROVs got their name. I think I know part of the story, but I don't know all of it. Does anybody know? Um, I have no idea. Hercules, Atalanta. It's, yeah, kind of a bridge theme now. in ROV naming that... Um, 30240, please. Bob Ballard likes. Thank you. Has to do with the Argonauts or something. Yes. Oh, that makes so much sense now. Huh. This is kind of cool. Maybe the Dumbo octopuses live in cracks. Crevices. Oh, don't get my hopes up. Is that a yes? I don't know. They oh. could though, right? I feel like they could. I don't know that they need to hide themselves as much down here. Yeah, that's true. They might. I mean, uh, in this zoom. economy. Oh, but there's an eel. Zoom, fish. zoom. Like Ooh, fish. Beep. Can I zoom in. Some eel-like fish. Just going back to that question, um, like the first ROV that. Uh, uh, Bob Ballard worked with wide, a lot was Jason, and Jason was the leader of the Argonauts. Yep, it's kind of a a theme. Theme continues. You know what I'm not gonna miss about going home? Bugs, flies. We haven't had any uh, insects yeah. really on the boat, yeah. except for the first week. I feel like we're pretty lucky in Vancouver. Not a lot of bugs. Really? Coastal city, I guess. Yeah. Do you get bad mosquitoes at all? Yes. They're, they're present, but what? they're not like... Oh, it's just a crack. Never mind. They keep to themselves, you know. Uh, well, no, but <laughs> I never like I never feel overwhelmed by... Like, you go camping in the woods or something. Sometimes you get overwhelmed with bugs and mosquitoes. I never feel that way. Yeah, thankfully, I think we'll be kind of past the peak bug season nice. in September. A lot of fissures here. Is yeah. there something no. crazy like the coming there, up? Yeah. Ooh. yeah, it's another maybe Ramalagorgia. Oh, I thought it was the thing curious. So oh, yeah. Good. If we could zoom on that. Looks like another small stalk to in? the left of it as well. Yeah, probably that Bathy Gorgia again. I like yeah, that. Like also the Ramalagorgia. So cool looking. Yeah, these are really big, cool colonies of it. Yeah, kind of looks like, like if it was my first attempt drawing a coral. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah. would draw the branches. One line here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> and like a little ophiroid in the crack. It's a happy We're little coral. We're not seeing uh, too much um, associates in the colonies. No, not in the these. Yeah, yeah Paula told us to look for squat lobsters. I haven't I seen am, any. I am red alert on <laughs> Yeah, I'm red alert for them. That's we awesome. We're <laughs> exchange samples. She look for sea pens and I'm going to look for <laughs> Well, we found a lot of squat lobsters for her, so she still yeah, owes you a debt. A lot of squat mm -hmm. lobsters. Felt like the last dive, maybe not the last one because we didn't have we a watch. We can move on. The one Zoom before on. it, we saw a lot. With well, the one with all the sponges? Yes. Yeah, definitely. It's oh, a great shot. And there was, they weren't even on the Get it on the cinema cam, yeah. take pictures, take snap, take pictures snap, snap, of snap, 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 snap. Stop moving. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's pretty. I brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Lila. It's <laughs> so satisfying. <laughs> there is one little oh, thing in the tip of the... Hard to tell what that was, yeah. Look at that sheet. 
Wow. To the left. To the left. Yeah. This is it's cool. Crazy. Sorry, Mike. I uh. Uh, no, no, at the steepy bits. Topography kind of changed when he went to the yeah. In there. That's fine. It's interesting on the high pack. It doesn't seem like these are all that much more. Well, maybe we're still coming up to the the ones I'm looking at. Actually, this is really steep. Yeah, we've climbed. 400 meters just in the last 20 minutes. I think we, we have been doing so good and behave so well. We have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mostly aided by the fact that there was not, not much, much to see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't there know. I got a weird feeling coming up. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many things we could zoom. Yeah. I got a weird feeling that uh, that we're going to pass it off in some yeah. spectacular oh, habitat. Yeah, 100%. Uh, we're going to walk out and go down into the Experience? lounge and see them going around a whale fall or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, Hey, it real could be time. worse. It this could is be worse. a we cool rock feature. We could be the eight to twelve shift, getting two two hour blue waters. That that That's has true. been us before. That yeah. has been us. We've we done it. Yeah, but, they didn't get, <laughs> but they didn't get anything along with the blue water. It was literally two hours of blue water handoff. I know. Trevor doesn't follow things. We have. And neither does Gabby in the blue water. They just like the they, they, they plummet. Please. They just drop like stones. You're right. We're like Cyphonophor. Oh, go down. Ooh, spec. What's that? Speaking of which. Oh, yeah. I think it's an, it another like Remla Gorgia. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> More like Ramula Grossa. <laughs> <sighs> you started it. <laughs> uh, that was a good attempt. We have a question actually about the coral in the chat. It said, how do the Gorgonians get their food? Um, water looks very clear with no plankton, but we have to assume that there's something out there, right? It yeah. yeah, I would say that very little, uh, which is uh, as evidenced by the lack of the number of these corals down here. But I mean, there are a few surviving, so. Um, it also could be a. And the currents could be different at different times, bringing yeah. more past uh, them, you know, per unit time. It looks like further down, there were a lot of ripples in the sand, possibly from current influence, so. Yeah, so I, um, there was a paper recently um, kind of summarizing some food dynamics for a different species in the Atlantic. It's actually a stony coral, but it's a deep sea coral. And they said that some food pulses, you know, a, a coral can get up to like more than half a year's worth of nutrition just in an hour alone. Mm. Oh, wow. Um, if the food pulse is large enough. So something that I study um, as part of my PhD is, is studying time series of environmental parameters like food supply and and different current speeds and things like that. So just a single point measurement, while valuable, is not as valuable in understanding like the, the local conditions over yeah. time and the variability and how that might influence the coral community. So things like putting instruments down for a long time period. I should be taking photos as I'm talking, sorry. I got it, you're good, <laughs> thanks. Um, is really valuable to do. So things like landers or wide, great zoom things. Single metrics. There's like a little, there's something on the rock here too. Or was it, there it is. Oh yeah, oh on yeah. the upper left, like a cup coral maybe. <sighs> Can I zoom in? It is. Yeah. Look at that little oh, guy. guy. <laughs> 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 Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> nice. Uh, can we zoom out, please? I don't know really how to describe this texture other than bubbly rock. <laughs> Is there a better yeah. term for this? I do have a cheat sheet Botryoidal, here. Botryoidal, except it's bigger than that. Yeah, I so thought Botryoidal was much smaller, finer. Smaller, yeah. Lumpy. There's another cup coral. Popcorn ceiling. Another cup coral, yeah. Um, 
If we get ahead enough, it looks like there maybe are some patches of looser rocks around. I was just looking at over there, actually. Yeah, I mean, those that looks great if you think you're ahead enough. Mm, I don't think this is mm. a good place for us yeah, to Yeah, we, we can keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... It would have to be a perfect grab on the yeah. first rock. And then we'd have to reposition. Someone in the chat said we saw octopus eggs earlier in this expedition. How cool would it be if we saw a Dumbo octopus nursery? That would be that so would awesome. That would be so exciting. Cool. I can't express to you how awesome that would be. <laughs> Put all the other watches to shame. <laughs> We'd pass out at least twice. <laughs> or yeah. evaporate into bubbles and glitter, I think is what Brittany said. Shrink. I don't remember the octopus eggs being found earlier on the expedition, though. It was on... Uh, um, was it in the coral or the oh. one that that we collected? I thought they had some. They there had was some one eggs. that we collected that had red, little red eggs on them. I don't think that we confirmed what they confirmed were. Confirmed exactly what they were, but um, they were looking more like maybe fish bamboo eggs. Coral? Bamboo coral. They're hard to see. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah. It's, wow, it's like bird. right there. We can keep going. We don't need to stop for these zooms. It'd be better if we uh, had a second ahead to find a rock if the uh, opportunity presents itself. Bowling ball. Here I am. Yeah, like some of those could be good. The ones further in the back. I mean, maybe this one that looks a little flat. Or that big one just to the left of it. Too big? Uh, could we get the lasers a little more over it? That might be okay, actually. Yeah, that's fine. We can go for that one. Hey. As soon as you grab it, Mike, I'm going to jump up forward. Go for it. Don't wait. Nice. Oh. 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 What? How about that one? Is it stuck? Oh. Sure. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Did you stab it? <laughs> no, it's caught on the blade. Oh. oh. Nuts. Probably not, yeah. Get it. Is that, Is it was that, was that rock okay? You? I think it's okay. I'm um, yeah. sure we might as well take it, have something. Is the other one totally welded in? Yes. So deceptive. Oh, uh, no. Hold on, hold on. Bring it back. I'll turn it. There we go. You got it. Yep. Uh, it keeps falling. I can't believe that one is welded. I was right on top of it. I mean, I could try again, but I think I'm pretty sure it's welded. Yeah. Hold well, on, bring it back, bring it back. Last chance, and then we gotta go. You can see it there. If you nice. Okay, and we're going. All right. Is there still filling this up? Uh, for the rocks, yeah. That'd be great. It's probably... There's yeah. no other one this here. Is it. This one nine four. Yes. <sighs> it's responding. Four, we need to get more six. That's just with one function, yeah. 
No, it's for it's two. Okay. But it's at sixty percent gain. I don't know if I have a good grip on it. I feel like I'm gonna, it's going to go it's over the fingers. porch, really. Yeah, it is currently over the porch. Yes. Okay, all right. And don't worry about it. What's happening? Oh, you're moving. I'm the looking thing. down. Yeah. <sighs> it's almost as bad as changing it to the gauges and then going. Oh God. <laughs> Still yeah, recovering right. from that. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty deep. That wall is. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Oh, there's something cool there. Where's that? Hmm. Looks like a stick of uh, dead. Dead, yeah. Bamboo. A stick. I and mean, with this word in my mind today, I don't know why. A stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. All right. Do you want to um? Oh, well, there's a something. The other tunicate. Tunicate. Zoom it. A tunicate. Similar. Oh, it's opening and closing its mouth. That. Oh. Cool. Looks exactly the same that the second one. It was. looks like the weird thing we collected. Yeah, but yeah. it's attached. And it has the. Oh, look at the way that it's moving that sack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's like feeding. Okay, so what we discovered uh, when we were looking at the other one more closely is that that kind of bell shape that it seems to be opening and closing, um, that leads to what I imagine to be the in-current part. Um, so they filter through their body. So that's sucking the water in through that bell and then in through their body. And then on the other side, they have like an X-current, uh, an exit other end of their digestive tract um, coming out the other side. Uh, but it's cool to see it actually mm, almost looking like it's sucking the water through by opening and closing that bell. That's cool. But it, it looks attached to the rock. It doesn't look like it's feeding on it. So I wonder if the other one was like just attached, but it was actually, you know, not, not interacting with that sediment or consuming it at all. Maybe attached on a rock. That's great. Thank you. Zoom out? Yeah, there we Did go. Do you get good pictures then? Hope so. Um, as much as I, it would allow with the m moving around of its gelatinous mass. Yeah. Did you get a good picture? Yeah, I yep. think so. Okay, all right. Do you want to take a look at this rock? I would love to. Give it a little spin, would you? When you're able. Yep. Go ahead, Mike. Work it. Work it. Good. Out there, thank you. Good, should be all set. Um, you can put it in any of the bio boxes. Oh, uh, I should move Probably first. Here, F. Yeah, you should move first. I'm moving, I'm gonna okay. do it while you're d while you're doing it. We've got, yeah, there's space to the starboard side, so. Uh, let me get the other camera on. There is another colony here, probably bamboo. But it it looks like another one of the sponges, actually. Do you think? But uh, I, I don't know if no. it's my eyes. I, I thought saw I polyps. saw polyps. Yeah. Totally yeah. possible. Or do you? Well, maybe it's not actually. Where do we want it? Maybe it's not actually uh, as big as I thought. Go ahead and put it in F. Or actually, if it's yeah, small enough, put it in uh, any of A through D. Doesn't matter. Whatever is easiest. Oh, that um, was not good I feeling. No, no, I don't have a good feeling about that. Wait, here. should we close it more? E or F? Here. Yeah. Sure. Oh, close that. <laughs> okay, definitely note that on the sample sheet. That I kind of was looking at the sample sheet when it happened. What happened exactly? Uh, it, it just doesn't look like the. Bio box is lodged firmly They're in its tracks. Kind of like oh, it does that. Tilt it down. How it like kind of flop down. Does it do that? Yes, yeah, 100%. Okay. It does that all the time. Really? Okay. Yeah, this yeah. it's operating, operating normally. Okay, never mind. Crisis averted. Okay, I'm going.
going back to the to the other one. Okay, how you feel about a ship move? Mm, go for it. Yep, before it starts to swing back. Bridge now. Three zero two two zero, please. Thank you. There is a colony just in front here of the Triclops. And it looks like a crinoid. Can I zoom in? That's a pretty crinoid. Quickly as we pass here. Mm -hmm. There's two crinoids. Yeah. yeah. stalked in one. Good job, Mike. Yeah. I think that's maybe hyocrinity. I'll look it up. Yeah, zoom out. We got sorry, we gotta get going. That's fine. And Janie, just to give you, Lord. I saw another Ramulogorgia uh, a few meters behind. I see one right here too. Need actually, another one here. So yeah. this, yeah, two. Okay. I probably won't be noting every single one, That's but definitely good to know that one, Hyocrinidae. Another, another ridge. Jane, we have a question in the chat that I think is kind of along the lines of what you were talking about earlier. Do we know how often or much does do, do the corals or sponges need to eat? That's a good question. Um, I think it depends on the species and the quality of the food that gets delivered. Um, at depths like these, really any particles or zooplankton that, ooh, a little jelly, um, any particles that make its way down, they'll Jeez. they'll take it. Um, huh. Yeah. I don't really know the answer to that though, because I think it is so dependent on the, the amount of organic nutrition in the food source. So things like small zooplankton or um, phytoplankton oh, are, are oh. better than say little particles of dissolved organic matter um, just in the fact that it's larger size so it can and last a little bit longer yeah I'm sorry I don't have a good answer no it's okay that was a good answer I think that's a good answer yeah and they were asking if they digest more slowly so someone was telling me that one of the sea stars we saw that was eating something else it was gonna take Whoa. a long time to but There's a big rock between us. Oh, oh yeah. Never, wow. would have, never would have been able to see that. That's interesting. So do we Yeah, think I imagine that like down here where it's colder uh, and there's less food that they have generally lower metabolic rates, so they just do everything slower. The growing is slower, the digesting is slower, the food demand, nutrition demand is lower because it's just lower metabolic rates across the board. Yeah, that's right. And then on the other end of it, if you have too high of temperatures, for instance, if you have an area that has warmed because of current changes from, you know, global climate change and, and what have you, that can really increase the metabolic demand. And I'm if the food that line back production up. doesn't sure. keep up with that, that can it be a big really problem. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Oh, bridge look at now. All these rocks. Strange Pebble River. Yeah. Three zero two two zero, please. Thank you. I know, like a landslide almost. Look at all these rocks. Yeah. Just channeled. Leela, there's a question here in the chat about that tunicate that we saw the other day. Uh -huh. Was there any theories on what it was or? I mean, I think it was the same thing as what we were just looking at or very similar to that. And I, I, I mean, looking at now having seen that in situ alive, it does seem tunic more tunicate-y than mollusk -y. So okay. those were kind of the two things we we're thinking about. I, I'm definitely leaning towards tunicate. Um, and especially, 
because of the what I was talking about, where there's like the in current canal and the ex current canal, and they're filter feeding. That That's what tuna kids do. Um, they feed yeah. through a pharynx. They have a, a ciliated a pharynx with slits in it, um, and the slits are lined with cilia, and the cilia beat and pump the water through, and then they have a mucus net that's over that whole. Um, system and and that traps the food as the water gets passed through and then they digest that mucus net with everything in it um, and that looks like kind of the way that that organism was feeding is this a pit it looks, looks like, like it. it yeah it's like dead sponge debris yeah over it's there. like lined with dead sponges this is weird or I is there at the bottom no it's the bottom of a wall it's a bottom of a wall yeah i wonder it? what happens when you look up uh -huh. yeah that really looked like a pit Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. We almost look that like we're so okay. tripping so there's, there's a cliff nearly. here. Yeah. So there's some Ramlagorgia. Yeah, you might want to. <laughs> Coming up. What's the beside the Ramlagorgia here? What is? Oh, that's a crinoid. It looks like big crinoid. Mm. Okay, so more Ramlagorgia growing. Yeah. Here. It's just wow, a rock. Huge just a yeah, boulder. You're right. That's really a there. nice boulder. That's a it was nice one of those boulder. things where you couldn't tell if it was like concave or convex and a pit or a wall. <laughs> Wait. Shout out to our pilots. There have been some tricky maneuvers yeah. on the last several dives. Yeah, not. We haven't had any easy dives, no. to be honest. <laughs> There's been like no, even when the conditions are benign, dodging those big sponges and stuff is nerve wracking. I don't want to yeah, right. crush anything. Were um, any of you guys Bridge working the recovery now. this morning? When we had to three pull zero up? two three zero. Please. Um, yes, we helped put it on deck. How how Thank was that you. recovery with all the swell and the wind? Yeah. Um, it was, it was okay. It was within, um, you know, it was within our working parameters, which is, was on the hairy edge of it. Um, but yeah. it was fine. The, the the RV was never in a dangerous spot. There was you know, no one was ever close to getting hurt or anything. It was just. Uh, bigger waves than we'd like to to see yeah yeah i lost the count of uh, how many dives we really do you know uh for how, how many, many dives we what we have in this expedition on this expedition uh let's see we started with like eight eight or eight nine and i can tell you i have the uh up to 2001 i had the Dive plans pulled up a second ago. Hang on. I'll tell you what the first number was. <laughs> I don't know, maybe 12? Thank you. But That's some fantastic. of them was... Aborted, aborted, so more like 10. That's so quick. Yeah. H 1990 was our first. Are you sure? I thought no. It was, I think it was. It was 88. Yeah, I think it was 88. Why don't we have a I dive plan it for it? Say it there. We do, but just not there, I guess. I don't know. We got a nice compliment in the chat. Everyone has been doing amazing work. Oh, we appreciate oh, thank that. You. So have you, commenters. Yeah. <laughs> so do you just not read the troll, the trolls that, <laughs> that write in? Or like, oh, we just all have nice viewers? Like, I've never been <laughs> part of an nice internet things. chat where there's no <laughs> trolls. Like, this is just weird. Yeah, it's weird. We don't receive any bad messages. Never. No. I hey, mean, sometimes <laughs> trolls want to learn. Yeah. 
We appreciate the good messages. Yeah, we definitely get good good vibes on this watch for sure. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it means a lot for us to know as well. You know, sometimes we're so focused in the science aspect, and for me, is one of the things that uh, changed a lot. It was the the focus of Nautilus to outreach for general public, and definitely this is one of the big chains for me uh, and see how how important is that as Bridge well, now. You know? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. I um, don't really do Three much zero, at all as far as outreach zero, goes with any of my research. Um, Thank you. Maybe to the point that I'm siloing myself too much. So being able to see how like people put together a effective Instagram post for a scientific purpose and you know, make art yeah. for the purpose of scientific no, do communication you, is really cool. Do you have met uh, the work of uh, Steph? Steph, Steph, yeah. Steph has been, like, yeah. Blow my cool mind stuff. completely how beautiful So talented. He is, yeah. That was the SCF on the previous watch for anyone who is still watching. And she drew us a beautiful picture about Hercules 2000. Yeah, it was yes. such a pretty birthday card. And it was on the inside of the bio box <laughs> yeah, and we never really got cute. to see it. <laughs> But also for me, I would say I've been branching out into learning more about the taxonomy. That's never really been my wheelhouse at all. And mm -hmm. you guys have such passion for it that it's been kind of putting me, <laughs> in, a, putting me in a spot where I should say, maybe Fun. I should study more than just Lophelia Pertusa. <laughs> but I think uh, a multidisciplinary type of expedition is that, you know, one inspired each other here in different aspects mm -hmm. and looks like we we left here with a much more knowledge or ideas definitely than what we we come uh, when we started you know yeah so um no, it's it's absolutely amazing and even the aspect of mechanical and uh the pilot the the crew uh, each one you know you you, you understand better I would like to have help more in the deck, uh, but I thought for some moment that it would be cause more trouble than helping. But no. even though uh, the moments that I was there, you know, uh, the, the team is amazing, and uh, no, it's uh, really makes uh, we feel like as a team, a, a team, really. Yeah. And we really have some fun inside jokes with our watch alone. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of hours to spend with the same people in a room. What is that I know. Oh, so look. So many hours. You turn on the down lights, Mike. Tiny jelly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Look at that little oh. guy. <laughs> that little. It looks like a little, little hat. It's so cute. Just it does look like a hat. <laughs> just, just float. A little sombrero. <laughs> oh. Having hey, a good time. Come back here. Pictures are not going to come out, but it's okay. Quit moving. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go sideways. We <laughs> tried. Come on, you old rascal. <laughs> Where'd he go? He's, he's pretty fast. He's floating. Bye. Bye bye. Back into the night. I got behind on a couple of questions here in the chat. So, Jane, do you think if the corals had more food, they would grow faster? Yeah, definitely. And not only grow faster, but they would have more energy for things like reproductive output. So. Um, there's a kind of a critical period right before corals spawn that they really need to be storing energy and not expending a lot. So, um, yeah, Bridge extra now. energy, it could go towards growth or it could go towards stored energy for processes three zero, like that. Two three zero, please. Um, Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, the definitely the more the more input you have, the, the more output you have, whether that's growth or reproductive output. And Leela, I think this is a great question for you. Does mm -hmm. any oceanic region exist where conditions are too harsh to support macrobiology? So, um, 
Look at all these Too harsh sticks. to support macrobiology. You know, it seems like macrobiology can live just about anywhere. It can mm -hmm. live uh, at hydrothermal vents. You know, that yep. macrobiology is not like inside the vent often. And people know how hot the water is. It's like the hundreds can be 350 degrees Celsius, the water coming out of a vent, but it very rapidly cools off when it hits the colder water surrounding it. And kind of in that um, in that di diffusion layer, there are kind of like series of different animals accustomed to those different tiers of heat and of chemicals. And uh, yeah, so they can live there. There are, is tons of life in Antarctica. Yeah, I was gonna say where, where you've been worked before, right? Yeah, where I've worked before, I've done um, scientific diving in Antarctica. And I mean, the conditions are not really so different from here in many ways, except that there is a lot more food um, in, in the shallower waters of Antarctica. Uh, although it's pulses because it's dark for half the year, pretty dark for half the year, and there's no phytoplankton growing then, but then there are these pulses of phytoplankton. Um, but yeah, that's extremely cold and there's tons of life there. So really, I mean, yeah, macrofauna can be just about anywhere. It's most limited, I feel like, at at depths um, where the food supply is just so low on the abyssal plains and where there's also um, not a lot of hard substrate. Like a lot of macrofauna likes to exist where there's hard ground. Um, and so there are huge swaths of the ocean that are really mostly sediment plains. Um, and stuff definitely still lives there, but not as much. That's awesome. I would say we're about halfway to the summit. Yeah, making well, good this progress. Four. This is waypoint seven. Even if we didn't get them to waypoint eight, they would make it to waypoint ten. So co pilots do. It is a small. Where are you looking? It is a small cone All the few yeah, yeah, little you things see here. So many like a rock. And there's all kinds of little stuff growing on the rock, too, like you were pointing out earlier. One day we come back and zoom in each one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one day we'll come back and we'll zoom on everything within a 10 square meter <laughs> patch <laughs> for hours. <laughs> Oh, it's a big rock. <laughs> cool. So it's definitely very interesting geologically, you know. Formations are not what we've seen before, I don't think. Um, another question, Haisa, is how long does it take to publish your findings from an expedition like this? To write an, a scientific article and publish on something you found, how long would that usually take? Well, it depends what you were, what type of material you are looking for or how much information you already have, a project for instance. I think if you are doing a list of uh, species of an area, or if you want to do some genetics, or if you want to describe a species, depending on what you are using, uh, the data that you are collecting, the, you're going to have a different schedule and time frame. But it can be uh, between like two months for you to start, you know, processing and discuss. Because sure. usually you don't write by yourself, you, you collaborate with other people. Uh, in a type of uh, expedition like that. So can take, I think, uh, minimum two months for you to start put something together up to then infinite. Yeah, <laughs> it takes you as long yeah, as you can. because you can use this data for, uh, we have so many, we collect so much data the, in this type of expedition that these, these will be used over and over and over again in different types of study. So it's very important because these collections, you stay for hundreds of years. They yeah. are available, you know. The samples that people can use if they need to for their research. E exactly, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I guess like if you're doing a species description of a single new organism that you found and you have the time and resources to do that, then it might not take so, so long. Mm. But if you're, if you're trying to sequence like, you know, I, I did a project on, yeah, the whole genome or, or my uh, master's thesis was um, used a lot of our samples from Nautilus from the Cascadia margin off the Pacific Northwest and there were hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of sediment samples full of microbes that I had to sequence and, and it's not always straightforward. You know, sometimes you think it's going to go one way, it'll be easy, this lab work will take one month and then it takes four or five months to troubleshoot that an issue that you're having with the genetic sequencing, for example. Did you plug um, it in? So it can, it can definitely draw on and it's sometimes hard to predict how long something will actually take. Ah, that's an overhang. Okay. So that's a thing. Oh yeah, well. So what method do you use to sequence the DNA? Um, we use, well first, uh, you need to extract all the DNA that's in the sample. So there are a number of steps that you take to just isolate all the all the genetic code in a sample. And then we do PCR, so the same thing that a lot of people know from COVID tests. Really what PCR is, is you take all the DNA that you've extracted and you make a whole bunch of copies of it, like millions of copies of it, so that um, when you sequence it, you're not just sequencing a few things, you're sequencing a, an amplified version of everything that was in your sample. Um, and then and then you align those sequences to a database. So there are databases that have sequences matched to known organisms. And so then you align it to that. It's a lot more complicated than all of that, but those are the basic steps. Sure. And the technology that's used in PCR um, that allows you to kind of like tear apart DNA and then reassemble the other half of each of those torn apart halves. That's kind of how you make the copies. Um, that TAC polymerase, it's an enzyme, was discovered uh, from microbes at hydrothermal vents, or sorry, not hydrothermal vents, um, uh, like hot that why, comes up pretty why can I not think of like Yellowstone uh, hot springs oh. is not the word what are geysers yeah the sulfur pools pool, sulfur, sulfur sulfite in pools in the pools and stuff. Yeah. yeah that's cool there's another Rami LaGorgia pretty sparse biology over these parts yeah <sighs> <laughs> Now. We have an hour to find Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> no, zero, we have 30 zero, minutes. Zero, because uh, okay. in an hour, we'll get, we hand it off. Yeah, well, if right. I find it within an hour, I'm not handing it off. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby can go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see. Hour. You described something, Leela, as yeah. rock steps with two Ps. What, I mean, I, I vaguely know what that term means, and I, there's I'll not in, other like a geologic term, but it's kind of like, it looks like terraces, you know, okay. so. Well, that's a pretty one. That is a pretty one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's like very back and forth, yeah, alternating. Like First huge. drawing. It's almost got like semicircles. <laughs> that's pretty. Is this your more advanced drawing? Is that what you said, Luna? <laughs> well, I'm just this this specific type of coral. I'm always just going to remember it as like a a child's drawing. Of yeah, a child's drawing of <laughs> coral. Yeah. This is the uh, the mirror function on the iPad. Yeah. Or you can hide yeah. So you, so you just draw one side and it does the <laughs> other thing automatically. And then the polyps to me just totally look like little starbursts. Yeah, they do. They do. Not I the was candy. thinking they look like little spiders earlier yeah. today. Yeah. Starbursts. That would be good. Anyone have yummy any starbursts? starbursts. Yeah. Uh, 
No. Not quite 3.30 yet. we got to hold off on that. <laughs> I really <laughs> want poke. Oh, it's man. You said it. <laughs> I know. Um, it says in the chat, it's been asked of us in the chat, what's the best thing about the dives? I think that the best thing overall is all of you on the ship. Thank you. Aww. Aww. You guys are so nice to us. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <but> what <laughs> are you trying to gain? <laughs> what is <it>? Starburst? <laughs> that's nice. That's too nice. That's too no, nice. never too nice. A whale skull. <laughs> what? A whale skull. Oh, man. No. That's we are they, definitely collecting want. that if we're... And I'm yeah. keeping it. <laughs> I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got the... We got the bone from the last one. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's this little thing kind of trailing up the crevice next to the Rami Gorge on the left? Is that just sediment? I think it's cracks? just sediment, yeah. I feel like I've, I've, my mind has played tricks on me that I've seen stolen different corals like three times on yeah. this dive so far. <laughs> yeah. Seeing what you want to see. Yeah, just looking for something to see. see. What you want to see. Some shades mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. The geologist is so rich as well that two zero has the two zero, sometimes we, we confuse. Thank you. You see a shadow and think it's a coral or something? For sure. I'm about to even the polyps, everything. What? I'm about to cross over waypoints. Uh. <gasps> I think we passed it, no? Oh, you, Adelina is. Adelina's about to cross right over it. Shrimp. Shrimp. We have another comment in the chat. I love the fact that I can ask um, quote unquote stupid questions that make the scientists think about things in a way they might not have considered. So that's kind of what yeah, we were talking about, how neat that interaction question, is. Yeah. yeah, we tend to get really um, deep in the weeds with some of the stuff that we study and think about. And so it's, it's good to have outside perspectives with different cognitive backgrounds and ways of thinking about things. And then we had someone who was very concerned that we might have missed a fossilized whalebone, and we have been told <laughs> no, no more, more whale fossilized whalebones. <laughs> we have enough. We have collected plenty. Well, what if it's a new species of extinct <laughs> mammal, and you guys don't want to get it? <laughs> Whatever, it's just a bone. <laughs> it looks like a little drawing of like a circle man running. And that's how you know it's late. What are you I'm talking about? I'm seeing things. That's all. Don't worry about it. If I had the telestrator, I'd show you. Pilots are hallucinating. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take over for you. You want to fly? Sure. I'd let you fly if we weren't going up a cliff. I yeah. was going to say, this might not be the best time for lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Passed my driving test on the first try. Nice. Look at those rocks all in the crevice. The first time I drove really during my driver's test. <laughs> Yeah, parallel parking always gave me anxiety. I pride myself on a good parallel parking, and then I did it until I did it too fast, and I actually gave myself a flat tire. No, because oh, you hit the curb. Yeah, yeah, but it was like on the side, so it like rubbed. It was not patchable. Oh. Yeah, sidewall. You were just too good at parallel parking. Well, I mean, actually, it, it was at zero <laughs> millimeters away yeah. from the curb, so. <laughs> One might say I was perfect at parallel parking. <laughs> <laughs> um, Too perfect. We have someone who's asking us this, considering this last dive of the expedition, will there be another expedition? Yes, there's one actually following us a few days after we get to port. So you just check that um, updates on nautiluslive.org and you'll get some more information. They said, because I've recently Sticks. found you and really enjoyed Steak. watching along. Thank you. Yes, there will be more. Thank you. But it won't have us. No, yes. it won't be the same. Oh it just won't there. be Some the same. People. Layla, are you going on the next step? On I'm the next not. Step? No. I think just Rennie is staying. Yeah, I think he's the only one. He's oh, going to wow. be lonely. Oh, that, Rennie goes on all of them. <laughs> Rennie yeah, Rennie actually never goes home. R R Rennie is the ship. He is part <laughs> of the ship. <laughs> Where are they going next? I'm going to look and see. Papa Hanel Makuakea. Oh, yeah. That's right. I heard stuff. And you'd be sh Attempt to pronounce that. 220, please. It would be, sh be shallower, uh, much Thank shallower you. than the dives we're doing here. Um, I'm not no. sure about I the depth. I think they're going to be deeper still. Yeah, yeah. 
There are dives coming up, or there's expeditions in the future that will be more shallow. Uh, uh, yeah, try end. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Try to get closer to you. Leela, can we go back to the hydrothermal conversation yeah. for a second? There's a sure. question here. Doesn't a lot of hydrothermal life use radiator type technology to thermoregulate? Oh, I'm not the person to answer that question. I think Maranke would, Maranke Maranke would be the person <laughs> to answer that question. What, what, what was the question? What time is her watch? <laughs> it was just, uh, just passed. Just now, yeah. What was the question? What was the question? Um, do, I'm sorry, a lot of hydrothermal life uses radiator type type technology to thermoregulate radiator you said R radiator. Like the that's what it is but i think i think there might be it might have been like radiation or something i'm not sure we're gonna have to pause not on familiar that question with that. not sure if we can answer yeah. that one right now not something i know they use chemosynthesis for yeah. energy and stuff but i'm not sure thermal regulation <sighs> I'm gonna keep going on the chat if you guys are sure, okay, because yeah, we've got yeah. a lot coming in. Does anyone's um, imagination ever momentarily wonder <laughs> what it would be like to explore these geological seascapes on foot? Oh, I thought the question oh, yeah. was yeah. just, does Parkour. your mind wander? And I was like, yeah. have <laughs> does you anybody ever to wand us? want to wander? Yeah, essentially, like, mind wander. would you ever want to explore this on foot? Michael, you said yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This we looks exactly like the portion now. of Hawaii that's like, newly erupted on the main island. I haven't seen any of that. 30220, please. We actually brought a, a 360 degree, oh yeah, can we look at that? Oh, a 360 degree camera under water with us on the first expedition that I was ever Ooh. out for. Is that a squat? squat? squat mm. It's a big Is it? squat lobster. Whoa. Whoa. It's, it's dead. Down. Is it it's dead? Down? It does. It's dead, it's dead with the telson. He's just playing dead. He doesn't want us to get him. <laughs> no, but the telson is all extended, though, or the no, he's, I think abdomen he's passed, is all yeah. extended. Interesting. Ooh. Does that mean whatever R.I.P. tried to eat him is nearby? Mm, maybe. How big is it? Seven centimeters? Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. What was the question? I totally blanked on um, what I was saying. Sorry. Do That's we right. want to explore? And we were yeah, talking about wide, 360 please. cameras. Oh, yeah, right. Um, and from that 360 camera footage, they were able to recreate, like you could put on virtual reality glasses and you could essentially stand underwater oh, so where cool. we had been, which was very cool. Let's so that, that's about as close as I've come to that, but that's Happy what have their awesome. three. They were developing Hello, that Moses? for ROV pilots, kind of like an augmented like reality kind of yeah. thing. Oh. And they abandoned it because it was so nauseating. Yeah, oh, it's like intense. Pilots couldn't last more than half an hour. We did some VR headsets with my students this year, and I put them on. It's It can be pretty intense. Yeah, and then put that on a rocking boat. Yeah, too. I was going to say, and then add the fact that you're on a heaving <laughs> ship, and yeah. it's just... No thanks. Yeah, all bad. Challenge accepted. Go There's for it. Stick. Stick. It is crazy how your Stop. mind can just trick you into just, yeah, be sick. Yeah. 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 The mind is funny. The brain is funny. Um, Lila, they're asking what kind of issues can arise while sequencing and are those things that could be fixed? Yeah, um, with enough time and the <laughs> money to do enough troubleshooting, you can fix just about anything in sequencing. Um, so let's see, some of the problems. Some of the problems were that fungi, which is what I was sequencing, um, I was kind of using t this, the same approaches that are used for bacteria, but fungi have oftentimes or sometimes kind of more of like a chitinous exterior. It's harder to break down. And part of, part of uh, extracting the DNA is, is shaking it up and breaking open the cells really well so you can get the DNA out. And so that was a little bit 
harder. That step was a little harder with the fungi. And then, I mean, every basically when you do a PCR reaction uh, to, to make all those copies I was talking about, it's like five different types of ingredients that you put into oh, a, a little tube, one for each of your samples, and, and you put a, a small Bridge bit of now. DNA into that tube too. And, and you basically PCR polymerase chain reaction. Two, two, zero, you please. do like uh, a whole bunch of cycles of the same couple steps that allow you to break apart the DNA, attach new pieces of DNA, and then re replicate it. And, um, and those need to be done at really specific temperatures. And it takes a while to figure out, OK, like for the type of uh, DNA and type of organisms that I'm working with, and for the specific region that I'm sequencing, what are the ideal temperatures and how many of those cycles should I do? And so there are things you can fix, but it takes a lot of, um, you know, really scientific method. Like, I'm okay, I'm going to change this one thing and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to see how it goes. And then I'm going to change this other thing and see how that goes. And then I'm going to decide, okay, which of those worked better and how can I change it next time to make it even a little, a little better. And, uh, but yeah, there's tons, tons of, that's like just one example, but tons of different things that you can run into. Um, people who do coral, like shallow coral uh, reef biology, often run into the problem that they're trying to sequence just the coral DNA, but they mm. end up accidentally making a lot of copies of other DNA that they're not looking to sequence. It's not their fault. That's just because that's a, like a problem with the method. And so um, they have to come up with creative ways to just isolate that coral DNA that they care about before sequencing it. So wow. little things like that just takes troubleshooting and ingenuity and time and patience. Right. But <laughs> Determination. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a very tedious process, but. Yeah. And people and, and researchers are, are always working on improving that. Like yeah. some researchers spend a lot of time just figuring out the methodology that then other people can use to ask questions about circuit certain organisms in certain ecosystems but they just spend their time like okay let's find a new region of dna that we can look at huh? that maybe works better that's awesome it's a incredible skull. oh so no, now I want to go back. <laughs> uh -oh. Check it. Check it. Check it. Is Where that, that? Go around. Oh, what is that? Go back. Can you zoom in on that? Oh, yeah, something twirling around oh, down wow. there. Oh, it's a Gaza. That's a gastropod. Whoa. Called Gaza. Oh, God. oh come back. Come back to me. Yeah, uh, they're really <laughs> funky looking. It's like those weasel balls. Gaza <laughs> spelled how? A G A Z A. What? What? What is going on? Dancing snail. <laughs> yep, that's awesome. Cool. I know, it seems like a lot of energy. I really, I don't know much about like how they actually function, but I wouldn't want to use that much energy moving around. I know, around it seems like it's tearing itself into pieces. Like it's trying to get Look out it of it? it? It's no, tearing itself it's, out. it's not trying to get out of it. It's just, no. that's how it is. It's what they do. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> but doesn't it seem like some of the tissue is coming off in the process? No, that's how, that's how they look. That is incredible. Never seen that before. Should we collect it? <laughs> no. Been documented. He's gonna and <laughs> dramatic exit. Roll down the hill. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Interesting. That was cool. So the whale skull. So Lynette said she saw a whale skull back there. So we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually see a skull? I uh, think maybe, yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought you were just pulling my leg. No. Okay, now I like, wait, do we have like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the leash. I'll give it wasn't the leash. that far. <laughs> I think we are on fine with. We got to see. Where we are. So complementing what um, Lila was saying, for some species of coral, the problem is like the mucus. Yeah, mm. you know, and sometimes, like uh, the method, the method you need to improve to manage to get the, the DNA. But sometimes, even though when you manage right there, you get the, the DNA screen. or the region you want, is not Did enough to yeah. answer the question you have. Right. Let's zoom in, panels.
Nope. Oh, yeah. Are you looking back beyond? Like above the lasers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, I know. It looks like the same same piece, though, as what we've is collected it? in the past. Yeah. I don't know. I think it is. <laughs> we should probably collect it. Nope. No. Just to make sure. Just documenting it. <laughs> Uh, new species uh, <laughs> left for someone else. <laughs> Good eye, though. Lynette. Note that. Okay, uh, come wide, please. Are we sure we can? Why I can literally we have it we written in bright red writing. We could, we could do a flyby. No more fossilized whale bones. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you know it's a whale? Maybe it's a dinosaur. Yeah. It's a Maybe it's a mammoth tusk. Maybe not. But we don't know. A lot of things have changed. We're not, not going to know now. Oh, yeah. What well. I want to know is where are the rest of the bones? That's what I, that's what I was saying. That's a great question. I was told that some bones are denser than others, so they fossilize more readily, but I don't know. Who told you that? Uh, some geologist on board. I don't know his name. Well, there's only two of them, I think, right? So one of them. Three of them. Was it Rob? <laughs> yeah, it was Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. I'm just kidding. I, no, like I, I know. I know. It was, it was Rob. I wouldn't believe anything Rob says. Okay, well, then we don't believe what Rob says, apparently. <laughs> no, no, he, he gets a little serious when it comes to... When it comes to rocks. Rocks. And there's a lot of rocks on this dive. It's only rocks. Exclusively rocks. Fish. And that guy. the hiccups from that There's snake. Another one. <laughs> Maybe no, because you were so jarred. Yeah. yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> I was like, what just would you want to note that there was another fossil there? Nope. Okay. <laughs> wow. Don't wow. Even so don't it even it want to write it down. A scientist. <laughs> <laughs> just ignoring data points. Ignoring the new species we find. Look at another one. There's another one ah. of those rolling thingies. Or is it the same one? Oh, this, yeah. He rolled uphill it somehow. Rolled up, yeah. <laughs> that is so weird. That does not seem like an efficient way to move at all. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep the ride around. <laughs> we don't want to collect those, right? Move them up. No, we're okay with that. All right. It's going to be a lot harder to get back up. What's this? Oh, yeah, what is that? It's a sponge stock, maybe something on top of it. Can I zoom in on that? Maybe a tubulari. No. No. Oh. Those anemones? No, yeah. Actually, I don't know. Oh, that's that's, that's a, a hydroid. hydroid. That's the tubularian, right? Yeah. And, and there are other hydroids along the whole stock. Is this a Walteria? No, it looks like the stock of a balsoma or colophagus. <laughs> That's a lot of words. <laughs> a lot of made up words all at once. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> they are all made up. All words are made, made up. up. That's true. true. All words are all words totally are made, up. made up. Can we zoom out, please? And isn't it fascinating that they carry enough meaning that we can do this operation? <laughs> Just words. Sorry guys, I got the hiccups and I'm gonna have to that's okay, stand on my head or something. Bamboo. Just gonna oh, have something. to find something scary. Mm. Ooh, it's a sponge. Our first sponge besides the kebabs. We saw I thought a in? small colophagus, no? Oh yeah, we did. 
And then another yeah, another true. little one that it's had a long stalk. A corbitellini. Corbitellini. Yeah, yeah. Cor P or B? B. I don't, I don't think we have, have seen this one yet on no. our dives like Sacco Calyx, but out, not stocked. It's like the base version. Out, thank you. Make you sick. I don't know what will. Germs. Oh yeah, another one of these guys. Oh, so many of them. That's all unusual. that work. All that work to get up the hill. Very weird. Why does it know when to stop? Probably when the lights are stopping shining in its face. And what hmm. is this? Yeah, I think you have to circle it if you want them to look at it. I don't think we have a lot of zoom time. I think no, we, we don't, but we have no, no two problem. seconds here. You want to zoom in? We have less than that. Weird sponge stock. Not sure what kind of sponge. Yeah, hard to tell which one it would be. I gotta there. go. I'm in the danger yeah, zone. Yeah, go. we gotta go. Zoom out, please. Thank you. Zoomy, zoomy. So I guess that tumbling is an escape response, is the is the guess. Um, and that behavior was only first really described formally in 2016. Hmm. Um, wow. Very recent. It had been seen before, but... Uh, it was described with footage that was shot in Papahanaumokuakea Rain National Monument. Um, but yeah, has been has been collected many times and uh, observed multiple times as well. But good to get footage of it doing doing its weird tumbly thing. <laughs> they have super pretty iridescent shells that look kind of like the inner pretty layer of a shell, but on the outside too. Like a... The nacreous nac layer. Nacre. Yeah. Okay, we're in a comfortable spot now. There you go, zoom on that. Sure. Zoomy zoom. Bamboo! Bridge now. Current's growing a little bit. Two zero, That's two a good two zero, please. You can see the sclerites from here. Yeah. That was crazy. All right, I'm back. Nice. Zoom Welcome. Out, please. <laughs> the bamboo coral. Oh, she's back. Shh, shh, shh. Stop talking about her. <laughs> I can still hear you. Do the Gorgonians continue to grow at the end of the arms and eventually die near the main arm, or do the arms separate and form new corals? Question from the chat. Gorgonian arms, meaning like the branches? Yeah, I think that's what they're talking about. Um, uh, the I think it's more like how do they branch, I think is the question. Yeah, the arms let's separate roll and form out. New corals. Rolling, rolling, or are they rolling. asking about like asexual reproduction of um, riders? Do they continue to grow at the end of the way. arms and eventually die near the main arm, like when they're branching yeah, out? Yeah, they're not usually like they're not usually doing that. They they don't really um, bud kind of mm -hmm. like sponges do, so okay. that branch won't break off and then start a new colony. It's just that some colonies are branching and others are not. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Keep 
hoping to see something living in these crevices. But There's a sponge up on the top left, maybe. Oh, uh, we've seen sponges. <laughs> oh, so many something sponges. living, but you're going to be picky about what Sponges, sponges, yeah. sponges. Something that will move. Lepharella. No, I mean, uh, tree to pleura. Beautiful. And maybe a fossil or something? That's a really nice one, too. <laughs> Oh, you, so you don't care about ophiroids now? You just don't, don't know. Fossils don't the move. Fossils star. No Fossils used to move. Oh, is that a... <laughs> is he going to jump? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> is that a riddle star? It yes, is. it is. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. This is kind of here a cool go. view because it's so translucent that you can see the body on the other side. You're right, Layla. Diddly. I'm not sure if, if everybody heard you through oh, the, the singing, oh. but yeah, it is pretty cool how you can see through it. <laughs> this one looks like it's giving a big hug to the it sponge. It is. The top, its its arms are like, they're touching each other Swalling around the on coral. It's like, I love life. you, sponge. Yeah. Right, let's get him in the cinnamon can. Sponge camp. hugger. Um, Leila, I think this was a question for you. What was the skull thing that they found on the previous expeditions to the Kingman Palmyra? I think you were on watch when it got found. Oh, yeah. Um, we didn't... Oh, oh, I'm remembering what they're talking about. So not the whale fragments, but we did find... We are not totally sure what organism that, that skeleton was from, um, but we found really cool skeleton remains that had Ossidax bone-eating worms growing oh. out of it, which was really awesome because like the closest collection two zero is two off two the zero coast zero of California. Please. So wow. to find those worms um, in the Central Pacific was a really exciting discovery. And Greg, as far as I know, Greg Rouse at Scripps is, has already, already requested that sample from the MCZ and will be looking at it, um, looking for the Ossidax and if it's, you know, if it's new, describing it. So that's very exciting. Uh, but I don't know actually what the what the skeleton itself was from. Is that a we're TBD on that one? Yeah, I don't know that we're uh, going to be able to determine it. It was really broken up. Yeah. Uh, like from the footage, you can't tell super well. It was really broken up when we got it. Um, it's possible it, it could have been some kind of a small cetacean, but we don't just don't sure. know that. Yeah, it was pretty broken up and small. We are getting tons of questions. I hope it's okay for me to keep going. Yeah, um, please. Is there any evidence that seawater temps have warmed at this depth? Cool. Um, I think the other night you were explaining how some of the seawater comes from colder areas too. Yeah, was that was kind of just like general thermohaline circulation, which is the reason that these Zoom depths in, are boss. so consistent and that it's not generally experiencing warming at this time. You know, uh, it would take a long time for that impact to be felt down here. Okay. What like, is, is that a, a Hansen Athuria But sea is it cucumber? upside down? No, it's attached. Uh, no, it almost it's looks like it's just. It looks like it's curved. photoshopped in. It does. Yeah, it it does. looks. <laughs> I don't quite understand how it's like. Does it, is it suspended somehow, or is it on it's that rock? It's just on the rock. It's just like playing. Ah, there. he's playing tricks on me. It rock. does look like it's photoshopped though. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't see past it. Like it's just floating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty crude Photoshop actually. <laughs> I think it's just the yeah. shape of its body or something. All right, can we come wide, please? Um, but certainly in the in the surface ocean and the higher up layers, there there have been changes in the average temperatures um, that organisms are experiencing there. Thank you for answering that. Mm -hmm. Anemone. Anemone there. Can I zoom in? Oh, this is really nice. Somebody from the chat is telling me how to get rid of the hiccups. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> what were the suggestions? Take a deep breath, hold it for 15 or 20 seconds, then closing your eyes and focus on your breathing is going to help you stop your hiccups. Oh. I was like, oh you got to remind yourself you're not a fish. Okay, what uh, someone did one time, 
Uh, Did to you my drink upside down or something? No, <laughs> to my friend was, she couldn't stop hiccuping. And this guy There's pulled out a $50 bill and was like, you can have this if you hiccup again. And she couldn't do it. The hiccups <laughs> went away. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it does, but I guess if you want it bad yeah, enough, you won't. Win-win right there. A piece of wood. I don't know. We should take it, bring it back to the lab. Well, I appreciate you Stick. helping me figure out the hiccups. I think we're good now. Um... It's always spicy food that does it for me. Make, makes me hiccup. Shrimp. Some acid reflux. Okay, so going back to the squat lobsters, we saw have. do squat lobsters shed their outer shell like warm water lobsters do? Um, yeah, squat lobsters do also two, 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 molt. So um, thank you. many arthropods m go through, like same as crabs, they go through in their growth uh, like multiple uh, shedding of their exoskeleton um, so that they can grow larger and then they have kind of a terminal molt or a terminal size where they then don't do it anymore and if a, a crab or squat lobster loses a leg for example during that time during one of the earlier molts then uh, or before one of the earlier molts then it's possible to regenerate that leg once it's done its terminal molt, um, that's typically not not possible anymore. It's done. Shrimp. 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 This is pretty big, actually. Yeah. Oh wow. It is big. It's, a it's another like 15 centimeter one. Let me zoom in. Oh my god, the t the antennae. They just are like. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, that's that's like one <laughs> leg is 10 <laughs> centimeters. Turn on the slurp and try to get him on the flyby. That looks like a <laughs> nematocarcinid. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. One of those like daddy long legs ones. I think it's funny. We called it the kebab shrimp and then we had the kebab sponge. <laughs> it the fits theme. though. It would be like two shrimp per kebab. Buck could be K and the could be Bob. I'm going to need a <laughs> repeat on that. Uh, ID that you just said. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up. Can we zoom out, please? There's big bulbs on either side of them. So big. Thank you. Yep. Um, we have a question about, I think it's the Phoreid sponges, the ones that look like vertebrae. Uh huh. Does this indicate? So we're seeing a lot of those. Does this indicate a geologically recent change in local conditions? I, I think on all the dives we've had, we've seen like kind yeah. of like graveyards of those. We have right? of that specific cor a black uh, coral sponge there in the left corner. Yeah, another one of those heteropathies, maybe. Um, yeah, it is kind of oh. weird that we've seen like that has been a commonality across different sites. Is that the those Phoreids, the Spidoscopulia probably, um, seem to have been around a lot at some point or or for a long time in low density. I don't know, it's hard to tell which one of those it was, but, um, but not so much anymore. And yeah, I don't know if that's a, like a shift in, in prominent currents or what the cause of it is. Yeah. Right? I haven't seen any on this dive yet. Oh, there were a ton. I think that's yeah. oh, but not living ones. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. The, the graveyards. Yeah, I see yeah. what you're saying. I guess I didn't clock the um, type of debris we were seeing. That's pretty big, Grandma Gorgia. <sighs> I know, I'm getting sleepy too. Yeah. Oh, is that no. another small sponge? <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in, Pops. Multiple small spongers. Apparently a spoonful of peanut butter also cures the hiccups. Hmm. What? Yeah, just glue just glue them down there. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably also called vacas. That's Pilots. good, thanks. Zoom out. Are you all ready for a question? Bridge, nav? Yeah. 
Can you talk about the sampling process? What specimen three is zero, the easiest two, or most difficult? Zero, so when you all, the RV pilots, are taking mm -hmm. a sample, which one do you find to be the easiest? The easiest rocks. ones are the rocks. Those they don't, <laughs> they don't <laughs> try to get away. Um, coral's not so bad, um, as long as the ROV can sit still. Uh, those That tunicate was difficult. <laughs> that was... Uh, the one from yesterday. Oh, couple, oh the day before. Yeah. The putting that one in the box. Week, right? yeah. Picking it up was okay, but putting it in the box was yes. the hard part. Yeah, yes. anything that's neutrally buoyant and that doesn't really want to sink into the box is difficult. Um, jellyfish are hard. You can get them in the suction, but uh, they tend to, you know, move away. Thank you. Um, if we get ahead enough and we see another rubbly rock patch that's accessible, I'd like to think about another rock. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, looks like there's some rocks over here. Yeah. Polychaete. Oh, swimmers are hard. Swimmers or swimmer. Swimmers. An anything. Very hard to sample. Yeah. Oh, these look pretty nice. Speaking like of samples, this blocky one maybe. Unless it's totally cemented. Do I do? Want me? Uh, if you want to, otherwise I can do it. Eh. You said you like doing the arm, and you haven't done the I arm do in a while. I like the arm. I prefer the arm over flying. Uh, yeah, you got time. I don't know if it'll sit there here, though. I might have to hold it live while you do it, like last time. Okay. Oh, well, that's loose. That's good. It looks like you're good. Now yeah, we try. Awesome. Noise. All right, going to sample. Oh, wait, are we going to do that brick. thing yet? Yeah, the spin, but it looks good. Yeah, it really is a brick. Nice. Wait, are we ready for sample, Salvo? Can I pause right there? Can you pause a little bit on the spins? Um, this should be fine. I'm not going to mistake that one for anything else. It's yeah. pretty brick like. You can zoom out. <sighs> All right. Uh, you can put it in starboard bio box A, mm -hmm. or any of the lower, smaller ones, rather. Excuse me. Let me know when you're ready to come out. Is uh, that a rock? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, what we're going to do, bring this back around. Um, I'm going to give this to you. All right, just grip lock it. It's grip locked. Um, I'm going to have to come up off the seafloor. Copy. Uh, indexed control. Grip lock is on, and it is indexed. That's unfortunate. I'm usually more aware than that. That was a dumb mistake. Okay. I'm tired. That's yeah, what, that's what must, must be what it is. You're doing a good job. You are. There's a rock to the right, so I wasn't okay. able to bring the arm around. 
A big rock to the right. Okay. Go for it. Where are we putting it? A. A. Uh. Or B or C or D. Dealer's choice. Not leave the bigger ones for bigger rocks though. <laughs> no rocking of the ship. <laughs> Or if you miss completely. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. That went into B? Yeah. Thank you. You're right there, bud? Yeah, I'm just getting like situated. Job. Yeah, I just want to. S okay, good. Okay, there's good? Yep. It's not coming down, but. It will. Oh, there it is. Can we come up on Delta, please? Yeah. Sponge. Eyes. Oh yeah, another one. Polyapagon E. Oh, and a, what are those? Sea lily? Is that what that is? Yeah. Too bad we don't have time to stop. It's <laughs> okay. Maybe another high It's not a fossil, we don't have time to stop. Thank you. <laughs> Orbital star. What's going on here? <gasps> Yeah, sorry, I forgot about it until now. <laughs> Have as much as you want. Just, just our last little sugar rush. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. I'm glad you pulled it into the end. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have a joke from Ooh, some yes. very special people. Okay. 
<laughs> in my life. So you better laugh. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, we will. Let's be friends, not anemones. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Yay. It feels like they even I'll came up it. with that themselves. I think they did. Can we be both friends and anemones? Yeah, you know oh, what they say, so keep your anemones closer. <laughs> Look at that pile inside it. Oh my goodness. It's not a pile yet. Give us a mirror relax. Pending pile. Hmm. Okay, come wide, please. Sorry. Stick or bone? Stick. Stock. Stick. <laughs> Stone. Stark. Stone. Bone. Stone. <laughs> stone. Actually, it really does look like a bone. A bone made out of stone. Mm. That's what fossils are. Yeah. Oh. You're a fossil. We are getting some really good questions in the chat. Are you on the lookout for potential meteorites? Huh. Yeah, that there's one there. That'd be cool. Could, could you tell them apart? How could you awesome tell? to find. I don't know. Um, could we tell magnetic. It apart? <laughs> but yes, but like. Yeah, we don't have a magnet. <laughs> well, we do on the porch. There's some magnets, right? Or is no. there? Not even on the. There's one. Um, oh, because we oh, don't. Oh, there's one on the arm. There's one on the magnum, but on it's like magnum. permanently mounted so that we can put a knife on it or something, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. We would, wouldn't be able to use the magnet to search for. Bridge nav. I don't think it's powerful enough anyway. To get anything of use. I think we used to like magnet the scoop zero, to the two, porch three, sometimes zero, too, but mm. that's not that anymore. Yeah. Thank you. That's another bamboo. I love how intently our listeners are listening. Yeah. <laughs> they said everyone goes quiet. Lots <laughs> of rappers crackling. Everyone's stubbing their face with chalk. How did you know? It was like one of those, <laughs> like, uh, it, it, when everyone's quiet, in. it's like the most loud thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> At the movie theater, like. <laughs> that's cool to see the base. So that sponge was attached enough that it. Slapping the base. I don't can't tell if that's the rock or if it's just the crust off of the rock that it used yeah. to be on. Because sometimes they come up, we will take a, a coral or a sponge, and its base will still just have like the crust of the come rock. Come wide, please. On the bottom. Oh, a tiny little thing. Let's zoom in. What you looking at? That little guy right in the oh water yeah. column there. Another hydro jelly. Oh. oh he's so cute. A little cutie. That is cute. <gasps> They're so cute. Turn the down lights on before we lose them. Uh, nice. Whoa. Yeah, he's too close now. He's getting in. He's getting washed around by the thrusters. Whoa. Okay, bye. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, so we have a question in the chat. Is this our last dive? And I think... Yeah, I, I think it is. Yeah. Unfortunately... It's the last 10 minutes of our... Oh, wow, it's true. Last, last dive. Last before, watch. before finish, I think everybody's staying in Portuguese. Oh. The people, so... Muito obrigada a todos que estiverem assistindo e que também falam português, ah, incluindo minha família, meus amigos, pessoal de Delmira. É, muito obrigada por seguir a gente. E se tiver alguma pergunta ainda, é, dá tempo. Temos 10 minutos para responder. <risos> <risos> então, é, e... É, vai ter mais expedições, então fiquem ligados e ah. espero que vocês tenham aproveitado. Tá bom? Muito obrigada e até a próxima. Yay! É now in English, actually. <laughs> so, thanks so much, everyone.
and it was an absolute amazing, amazing experience. Um, I have so much gratitude and love in my heart now, and uh, especially, um, I think every, uh, each of you, uh, of of you guys, uh, the pilots, um, the navigator, the video um, engineer, each of us here in the the in the back, Lilon, Loka, <laughs> you are incredible, Jane as well, Ashling for all the support, everyone, thank you so much. We're so glad we had you in the back row here with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so much knowledge. Yeah, I learned so much about sea pens. No, and no. black corals, surprisingly. <laughs> Sea pens will always be my favorite. No. Give me a sea lovers. It's one of those firework <laughs> corals. What did you call them? Eridogorgia. Eridogorgia. Oh yeah. Go red. The first one we've seen on this it dive. Is. is that kind of like a ridge up to the top left of us right now? We are at the bridge. Yes. Yeah. 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 We are at a ridge. Correct. A ridge or a, did I hear bridge? A a ridge bridge. It's, it's a ridge. A bridge. Like as an original. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? Uh, I mean, there's also the word a bridge. No, that, that doesn't work. Never mind. I'm tired, too. <laughs> it's I know. Okay. It's the effort. The sometimes. ability to be lost funny. the thread of that. It's the effort. Oh, what's lost in the there? It keeps looking like we're going to come to the summit of a ridge, but it's kind of just a steep wall. Yeah. What is that? I feel like there's something in there. I feel it. That looks like a, like a box like of a some little, sort. But a it's a little a, cave. It's a time capsule. It's a horcrux. It's a horcrux. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time capsule. <laughs> Where are we going? It. Past or future? Interesting. Oh. Back to the time when the extinct <laughs> whale species were <laughs> roaming the ocean. Too, no, like we don't know if it's a whale. <laughs> oh. We haven't been able we to gather up we the pieces. We haven't been able to gather the pieces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have All a right, message in, in the chat. I do? Well, Haisa does, but I can't read it because it's in Portuguese. Portuguese. <laughs> The person saying that's so nice to to discover that there is a Brazilian part of um, of the team. And oh, that okay, to the top of it here for the transmission. Uh, I think. Nope. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of people no. saying thank you yeah, for speaking muito, Portuguese. Yeah, muito obrigada, Ricardo. Muito obrigada a todos que. The ship has stopped right now until you can kind of get... The ship has stopped? Yeah. Okay. This. And thank you so much, all the chat and all, all of you guys. Um, yeah, keep yeah, us entertained. Give us good no. questions. It's been great. <sighs> I have a bad feeling. Ooh, could we look at that coral on the left? It could be a primnoid. It's going to happen. What's going to happen? In? I feel it in my bones. <laughs> Oh. In your bones. You'll see soon I've enough. Got a oh no. In my bones. Primnoid. Norella, maybe. Look at the green glow. Oh, those are the dots. Oh Except my god, Norella I'm really usually tired. faces downward, <laughs> and those polyps look like they're facing upward. So I don't know. Just primnoid for now. That's good. Thank you. I literally thought Zoom that the, that the lasers were floating green dots. <laughs> oh. They are. What's wrong yeah. With me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and black corals. <laughs> What's that green species? Oh, I was right. like, oh, are those little. It started getting more eggs <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> I've only been so as soon as we see the first primnoids and different black corals. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now that we're gonna like to come up this ridge and like it's gonna be like a giant coral garden. With octopus. <laughs> you know oh, it's Oh, yeah, but not for seven true. minutes. Not for seven <laughs> you know minutes. It's and it's true. Like in the top. Yeah. yeah, right. You get up. And then you have to yeah, stay up and watch it be collected. Really fast. Just come up, man. No, if you. you if I can't go up any faster. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> if, if you think you're, <laughs> you, you, you you you're going to hit, just friggin' haul it up. 
and another Primnoid, and Chrysogorgia. Oh, is squat. that a squat lobster? Where? Inside the middle. I think so. It is. Booking it. It is. It's hard because we're coming to the last dive, but I feel like we're like becoming experts. And yeah. You all always all were, but I've learned so much too. <laughs> I'm like, I'm everyone's not, doing so good. Of these corals yeah. were. The squat, the squat lobster for me was a dish. Oh, because, this is yeah. mean. Oh. I really do think there is a lot of life up there. No. It is. <laughs> I'm that seeing a lot of white dots and I don't like it. Yeah. It was an overhang. Maybe some sponges. Ooh, big oh, wow. Not a sea lily. Yeah, it is. Is this a different one? Yep, it is a different one. These ones are like reddish and yellow. Oh, what are these called again? Let me find that. Oh. Zoom in. You you claim your last five minutes. I usually feel we really can make like popcorn seats in the couch. Hey. In the yeah. <laughs> Usually Thank you for really announcing your presence. Knowing that watch is happening, but watch change is happening. But tonight I feel sad. <laughs> That's a great zoom. We can continue on can up to up, see please? what we're gonna miss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sheer cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it really is just a cliff. Yep, lots of primnoids. A lot of Ramlagorgia still. It has come, it's, it's Bridge now. Uh, I have one five meters, zero five five, please. Thank you. We are getting ready for our watch change. So, hi. The 12 to 4 watch would like to say thank you very much for listening and for participating in this expedition. We appreciate you all. Bridge nav. Cancel that. Can you hold position here, please? Thank you.
right, good morning, four to eight. Good morning. I'm sad. <laughs> this is the final four to eight. We made it. I like to thank my mom, <laughs> my dad. <laughs> All right, so our viewers online, we are just doing a watch change. The four to eight crew has just got here. So just give us a moment to settle in and then we'll check in with you in just a few moments. We have two rocks. Um, we need many there's more potentially rocks. a giant one in E. I don't know how big that one. That's one of the big boxes, and then one small one. All right, so again, this is the final dive of NA-153, exploring Johnston Atoll. And today, on this dive, we are exploring an uncharacterized flat-topped guillot in the northern portion of Sculpin Ridge. I can pronounce that word now. It finally, it finally got there. <laughs> so the maximum depth where we started this dive was about 3,000 meters, and our current depth is 2,327.3 meters. And the current temperature where Hercules is, is 1.8 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> so just like always, we love to hear from you in the chat if you have any questions or comments that come in while we're with you for the next four hours. I would love to see some questions or comments coming in. So if you're watching online and you're new to this, there is a chat box that should be located below or next to um, your live stream. And so you can write in questions or comments that way. Hmm. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Steve. Give me one second. I'm sure. going to try and sort out my trim here. So there's somebody wondering how long is the dive and where are when are we heading back to Honolulu? Uh, this dive is ex expected uh, to be about 20 hours, but um, it all just depends on conditions. And we're uh, planning on getting back to Honolulu on the 29th. So <sighs> too soon for my liking, but you know, that's how it is. Um. Like somebody on the chat is very ready I'm to see rocks, or they're with you. I share their enthusiasm. Yep. But rocks, and all yeah, caps. I'm just going to come up a bit. <laughs> um, okay. It's uh, oh, yeah. Steve, I think we're ready to go. All right. So, seeing nothing in the immediate area, unless there's an area you want to interrogate here for rocks. Uh, um, it's been a while. Up in that field, there might be something back here. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, before we. Uh, Initiate a ship move. Maybe there's a nice little landing pad over here. It's a nice little uh, 
depression in the side of the slope yeah. here. Yeah, I was wondering if there might be something loose in that area. 